Welcome to another Fabricate Friday video on my blog and YouTube channel. I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. I've gotten into this sweet soiree and I have made a really cute little birthday slash wedding box. I don't know if this is a wedding cake or a birthday cake. Um, I have, and it opens like this, and I've actually decorated the inside too, and there's some, um, what do you call them, separators inside, and, and actually because of the separator inside, it makes it for a really, like, sturdy box. Anyway, I wanted to show you how I made it. I have a piece of eight and a half by nine uh, piece of cardstock. This happens to be Berry Burst. On the long side, I'm going to score at one and a quarter, three and seven eighths, five and one eighth, and seven and three quarters. I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to go one and a quarter and seven and a quarter. All right, so that's for the box. Then we have the little insert here, and the insert is um, two and five eighths by eleven. And I am going to score at um, two, three and a quarter, four and a half, six and a half, seven and three quarters, and nine. So I'm going to fold and burnish all of my score lines. So this one, because it's an insert, that middle line of the score line goes up. Okay, so you can do those ones first, and then every other score line goes in on itself. So if this one went up, then this one goes down and down. Okay, so that's what you should have. All right, this is a really quick build. so. We are going to go up on the score line and we're going to wedge out on all of the little squares. One of the things that I did notice when I do wedge those out is that when you pull that little piece out there's a little I don't know, it's like a little fluffy hair. So, um, and it does kind of ruin the smoothness of the box. So when you do wedge out, try to actually cut it out, not pull it out. It's been driving, it's been driving me crazy a little bit. So I'm trying with these small little scissors, um, the paper snips, they're super sharp. So you can get right up in there in that corner and have an accurate cut. Okay, last one. So you should have something that looks like that. So I'm just going to choose this side as my front and I know that my front is six inches. So I'm just going to make a little mark with my favorite pencil at three inches. I'm going to come in with my two inch circle punch. And I'm going to cut that little guy. Okay, so once um, that's done, I'm going to be putting my fast fuse on all of my tabs here. When I like to do uh, my adhesive really close to that score line and then close to the free edge. 
that way you don't have little weird gaps and everything is stuck. Uh, Fast Fuse, we just had a big sale on it. Probably no one had the opportunity to get it. But um, <laughs> anybody but, you know, very lucky people got in on that deal. Okay. Um, but it is actually a really good an, uh, adhesive. So I like to use it for my boxes. I'm going to start with the base of the box. And... I'm just going to put, take that free edge right up to the score line, just like that. Same with this side, free edge right up to the score line. Then the middle one we're going to attach to the base as well. Okay. You have to be decently accurate with when you place your fast fuse uh, because it is um, it's not for really forgiving so you can see what I'm doing here I actually folded it around the box so that it fits really nicely and I can see how uh, where the box needs to go or how it needs to go so that way I know it's a nice snug fit and if there's anything left over, I can trim it off right now, like that little bit there. And you can see how this one gaps, and I cut this one off. So how I did that was I just folded the little box. I actually used my bigger scissors for that. I just put this corner right in there and then tried to get as clean of a cut as I could. So one fell swoop. I'll do it again. So I'm just eyeballing it really. And I seem to eyeball it pretty well. So there's maybe, I don't know, two centimeters, sorry, a quarter of an inch uh, left over on that side. But that's the box made. All right, so what I have here is the same um, designer series paper as this. This is the uh, Sweet Soiree. And this piece of paper is uh, five and three quarters long and two and three eighths wide. And then um, I'm going to do the same. Um, I'm going to decorate like I dec did decorate the inside here. I have three pieces of this green and silver uh, paper that's in, it's just gorgeous, this paper. Um, and this is two and three eighths by one and three quarters. And so I'm just going to add these to our little squares. I could, it's much easier to do this now than it is to do it when um, the you're putting the the box all together or when it's all together it's harder to get these aligned correctly now if you wanted to you could put um, a little bit of adhesive in between those oops so I'm going to fast fuse the insert and I'll show you how I do it here. I'm going to take this side and I'm going to slide it in gently and then it's like jam it up against the corner and press that down. And then I'm going to take this side and do the same thing. Get it right in the wedges. It's a snug fit. Okay. And then get that down. Then everything should come into place just like that and of course give everything a little pressing so now I have another piece that is exactly the same size as the top uh, two and three eighths by five and three quarters and I'm just going to do the inside and I think that is that silver and green is so very striking and I think this would be awesome for an Easter present. I mean, it just adds so, so very much to the um, design. 
And then what I ended up doing is fussy cutting because this paper to me just dictates it. Um, I fussy cut out one of the flowers that was on the other side of the paper and I am going, I'm using some, uh, this is our foam adhesive strips and they're double the um, height of a dimensional. So I thought that would go so perfectly because it lifts it up a little bit. And there you go. That's my share for today. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf to visit my website or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.